If a suspect is in custody and being interrogated by police, he can assert his right to have an attorney present during the questioning. Now, if he asserts this right, if he says that he wants to have a lawyer present for the questioning, the police have to stop questioning him and give him the opportunity to get a lawyer. And they cannot begin questioning him again until he has a lawyer. So there's a few points on this uh, that I want to point out. Number one, the, the suspect's statement that he wants a lawyer has to be unambiguous. Okay, he can't ask, um, do I get a lawyer? Or he can't query, maybe I should have a lawyer. Things like that aren't sufficient. The suspect needs to state clearly he wants a lawyer uh, before any more questioning can take place. Now, when, when custody ends, and custody means that the person is not free to leave. Now, when that custody ends, police have to wait two weeks before they can begin questioning him again, um, this time without a lawyer. All right? If they, if they talk with him within a 14-day period after he's been released from custody and after he's asserted his right to a lawyer, um, any confessions or statements he's made can be thrown out. And then lastly, uh, you should realize that the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court has refused to rule on whether these same rules apply when the assertion uh, to the right for counsel is made outside of uh, police custody. So sometimes police will Mirandize a suspect when the suspect is not in custody. In other words, the suspect can leave at any time. And the court hasn't made clear whether these same rules apply in that scenario as they do when the suspect uh, is actually detained and being interrogated. So I've written a blog post on this with all the pertinent statutory law and uh, case law, and I'll put it in the description below.